Hello, my name is Bruce Bissett from AVICeducation.com. I know that many of you want to know more about the NCAT AET review course. I'm making this video to help answer those questions. Questions like, what subjects are in the course? For whom is the Ford course for? And finally, is this course really for you? The first question is, why is the NCAT AET certification test created? Every 10 years or so, the Federal Aviation Administration is asked to create a third mechanic rating for avionics. That third rating was requested by employers to identify the knowledge a technician would need to be able to maintain the new avionics technology in aircraft today. One of the reasons given by the FA on why they would not create the third rating was that there was no standard curriculum being taught in the U.S. To answer the FAA, a group of people came together and created the National Center for Aeronautics and Transportation Technology. This group of interested parties worked together to produce an avionics standard for training. Members of the committee included uh, the U.S. military, representatives from major airlines, aviation manufacturing, and others. The first certification test that was accepted by everyone was called the Aircraft Electronics Technician Test, or AET. It was agreed that this first test was a basic level of knowledge an avionics technician working in aviation should have. The AET exam is divided into 34 subject areas. These can be further subdivided into three groups, AMP Generals, Basic Electricity, and Digital Electronics. The AMP Generals portion of the test is where the writers wanted to ensure employers that all NCAT AET certified technicians had the same basic knowledge as any AMP mechanic. So the first third of the subjects were created directly from the FAR 147 general subjects. Some in the group were from the military and manufacturing, so some subjects were removed or modified. The subject of federal air regulations, for example, was removed and maintenance publications were slightly modified. The feeling here was that the applicants to these companies would be trained on their regulations and processes. That including regulations specifically about mechanics was not necessary. The next part of the rating, the basic electricity subjects, are those that are found in FAR 147 again. The difference here is that a technician who is expected to work on aircraft electronics should have a more in-depth level of understanding of this particular subject. The final section of the NCAT AAT test are for those subjects outside of A&P but are familiar to anyone who was trained in digital electronic theory. This section covers the construction of diodes and transistors and the functions of those devices in oscillators and amplifiers. The basic digital logic is included in this section this covers logic gates and how these components are combined to create other basic digital circuits, such as flip-flops, counters, and adders. The digital section also reviews other number systems used in digital logic. The section includes binary, octal, and hexadecimal number systems. Then the last part of this section covers some basic pieces of test equipment used by all avionics technicians. These include the basics of multimeters and oscilloscopes. The objective of offering a four-day course is to prepare technicians who may already have received some formal training in these subjects. Starting with the current AMP mechanics, most have already received two-thirds of the material covered in the AET test. The purpose of the review course is to refresh and renew, since most mechanics may have not seen this material for many years. This course can also introduce them to the digital subjects that will be included in the test. Another group of technicians this class is ideal for are those who have served in the U.S. military, particularly those who have been trained in electronics and avionics. Another group of people who would benefit from this course are those interested in obtaining the International Society of Certified Electronics Technicians, the ISCET, technical rating. Taking this review course can help take advantage of all the training you've already received, and also it provides the base information for the journeyman level CET. The really important question that's asked a lot is why should I attend this class? Today, any education you receive is your calling card. Your education is a description of who you are, and a certificate or diploma is proof of what you know. 
The NCAT AET is your announcement to the world that you are ready to start your career as an avionics technician. That by earning the certificate, you have the base knowledge required to begin learning about how to operate and troubleshoot modern aircraft systems. All you have to do next is to click the link below and find out when the course is going to be offered. For an investment of less than 2% of your first year's expected wage and four days of time in class, your return will be tenfold. Working on an avionics system is challenging and exciting. You'll be learning about new systems that will contribute to safety of everyone who gets on the airplane. And that's pretty cool.